YouTube, once again, it's going to be Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. We're talking Auburn football. Go ahead and like this video, comment, click the bell so you can get a notification when Vernon Speak Sports goes on. And also check out the playlist. I have an updated playlist, very organized, very strategic as to the topics. I got a lot of videos on this channel, so uh, you can go back and archive uh, some of the videos and you can kind of see where how the channel has grown and some of the progression uh, thereof. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle. Now, I was looking at this particular recruiting class, which I'm relatively impressed with, especially with the defensive line recruits. Uh, I still think we could have got another quarterback, maybe a pro-style quarterback, maybe more uh, more Bo Nix-ish, if you will, but it is what it is. Auburn did a pretty good job with uh, the recruitment of Tank Bigsby and Kobe Hudson. Now, mind you, out of all the names that I have just named in this particular recruiting class, you haven't heard me mention any recruit from the state of Alabama. If you were to look at the 2020 recruiting class, you wouldn't even know that Auburn is a Power 5 football team in the SEC in the state of Alabama. Auburn has only four recruits in this particular recruiting class from the state of Alabama. Now, that's not to say that they're not targeting these particular players. Auburn went after one of the best wide receivers in the country in George Pickens last year. Um, you know, there was also a kid out of Central Phoenix City, two of them in the past few years that actually committed to Clemson. Oregon has come down to Alabama and poached some of the talent out of Auburn. And of course, Alabama being the flagship school of the state, um, you know, really, really has a stronghold on the state of Alabama. And also we have to take into account that there are several other uh, institutions of higher learning in the state of Alabama that have pretty good football traditions like Troy University, Tuskegee University, which competes in the SIAC in Division II. You also have UAB. You have Alabama State University, a traditional power in the SWAT conference, FCS school. You also have North Alabama, who is also a powerhouse in the, or a traditional powerhouse in Division II football. You have Jacksonville State. You know, so you have in West Alabama, you have all of these schools that Auburn has to actually compete against in state um, as far as disbursement of talent. So when you look at Auburn's recruiting geography wise, you know, they have to be more creative. Now, now they found the second rest haven locally in Georgia. A lot of guys come from Georgia. They have a nice pipeline out of Florida and they're starting to develop a great pipeline out of Mississippi and Texas. So this is something that Auburn is going to have to continue as well as you got, you may have some leverage now because um, Patrick Nix, former quarterback for Auburn and also whose son is a five-star recruit, Bo Nix, who had a pretty decent season this year, garnishing himself the SEC freshman of the year. He's going to be the coach at Central Phoenix City down in in Alabama very close to Columbus um, possibly could help Auburn with a recruiting pipeline there as well it's going to be interesting to see with the power five talent that Phoenix City has produced how that talent is going to be dispersed now that Patrick Nix is now the the head coach down at the very Herald uh, Central Phoenix City 7a fo football team in the state of Alabama now like I said before, you're probably looking at the recruiting class like, where are all the guys from Alabama? And like I said, I think Auburn has had some very difficult – they just have a lot of competition in the state of Alabama. You have outside competition with Georgia, Clemson, Florida State, all of these teams trying to poach Alabama talent. You have in-state institutions that have relatively powerful football teams with the ability to put uh, guy, place guys in the uh, National Football League. And, of course, it doesn't help when you have flagship – uh, University of Alabama, nation known blue blood football team in your same state competition wise. So that's probably more of the reasons that Auburn has some difficulty uh, bringing in that in-state talent. All right, guys, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Go ahead and like the video, comment and subscribe to the channel.
As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle.